introduction to polygons uh, this is our lesson number three uh, first of all uh, let's uh, discuss the definition of a polygon okay uh, then it says V naught, okay. V naught, V one, V two, V n minus one. Endpoints. N points in the plane so i have given here a figure okay so we can draw it uh, now let's say this is our v naught okay then uh, this is v here we have v1 and here we have v2 then uh, many uh, some points are here okay so let's say this is our v n minus 1 uh, The index arithmetic is modulo n. And uh, the meaning is uh, for an example to this index to 0 if we add 1, okay, you get this index. Uh, then to 1 if we add 1, you get 2, okay. Then uh, here to n minus 1, if we add 1, it is n, but uh, since our index arithmetic is modulo n, we, we say here this one is equal to 0. Okay, that is the meaning of modulo n. Our index arithmetic is always modulo n. Uh, that means uh, always here, if we have vi, here this one is always in between 0, 1, 2, 2. Okay. So, always a number between these values, a number from uh, these values, okay. That is the meaning of modulo n. Now, let... Uh, B straight line segments connecting the points. Now we connect V naught and V1. This is our E naught. We connect V1, V2. This is E1. Okay. We connect these two. This is E n minus 1. Okay. Uh, likewise, uh, here, here also we can have uh, a straight line segment. So, uh, I represent it using a dotted line, dotted straight line. Okay. Uh, then these straight line segments bound a polygon if and only if. if and only if okay um, two conditions are there first one is 
the intersection of each pair of straight line segments adjacent in the cyclic ordering is the single point shared between them now uh, for an example if you consider something like this okay if you consider the first condition if you consider any two adjacent adjacent line segment the this one and this one are adjacent okay this one and this one they are adjacent uh, segments they share this one okay single point is shared only a single point they share uh, that is the first condition okay so uh, if you consider this kind of a polygon you have to look how i draw this this one then here this one this one and this one okay so here we have this edge look at how i draw this this edge this edge and this edge is this a is this uh, according uh, is this follows condition one no because uh, this edge and this edge they are adjacent in the cyclic ordering but they are not a single point they share infinitely many points are here okay so this does not follow the condition one okay uh, then uh, uh, let's uh, look at the second condition non adjacent straight line segments do not intersect uh, if you consider this one here non adjacent uh, non adjacent this one and this one are non adjacent they do not intersect if you consider all the all the pairs of non adjacent Uh, non adjacent uh, straight line segments they do not intersect okay let's say this one and this one they do not in intersect this one and this one they are non adjacent and also they do not intersect uh, this one and this one they do not intersect if you consider all the pairs of non adjacent uh, non adjacent uh, straight line segments they do not intersect okay uh, if you uh, look at this uh, here this one this edge and this edge they are non adjacent uh, non adjacent uh, they, they, these two straight line segments are non adjacent but they intersect here okay so this does not follow the second condition as well okay this does not follow the second condition as well if you consider something like this okay so uh, look at the way i draw that i this one particular edge the uh, sorry uh, i will redraw it again uh you have to watch how my hand goes here 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 okay now uh, if you consider two conditions uh first condition for this one what is the first uh, condition the intersection of each pair of straight line segments at adjacent in the cyclic ordering is the single point shared between them 
this one and this one adjacent this is a single point this one and this one adjacent this is the single point this one and this one adjacent this is the single point shared uh, between these two straight line segment this one and this one this is straight, uh, this uh, single point shared this one and this one this single point so for the first condition uh, this one is okay but uh, if you check the second condition okay if you check the con second condition it says non adjacent straight line segments do not intersect that means there cannot exist at least one pair of non adjacent straight line segments such that they intersect and uh, if you consider this one and this one okay they are non adjacent if you consider the uh, cyclic ordering they are non adjacent but they intersect here okay therefore if we could find at least one pair of non adjacent straight line segments intersecting so in that situation that condition is false okay this condition is not satisfied okay therefore this is not a polygon and if you consider something like this so always uh, look at the way, way how i draw that if you consider this one if you consider this one uh, is it follow uh, does it follow the condition one that means uh, let's say uh, if you consider any two adjacent uh, straight line segments they share a single point now to these two this is the single point to these two this is the single point to these two this is the single point these two this is the single point these two this is the single point first condition is true but uh, we have to check the second condition as well uh, all the pairs all the pairs okay all the pairs of non adjacent uh, line segments should not uh, intersect but uh, if you consider here this one and this one this one and this one they are non adjacent but they intersect from here so second condition is false therefore this is not a polygon okay then uh, look at this so now does it follow the first condition if you consider this one it is a single point these two this is straight line segment and this is straight line segment single point this one and this one single point but uh, yes this one and this one also we have a single point shared between them this one and this one single point this one and this one single point this one and this one single point this one and this one not a single point okay we have infinitely many points shared between this edge and this edge okay so this condition is false uh, if you consider the second condition there are uh, if you consider this edge and this edge they are non adjacent when we consider the cyclic ordering they are non adjacent but they intersect this region they intersect therefore second condition is also false in that way you have you should be able to uh, identify a polygon now this is a polygon no? this is a polygon uh, this is not a polygon 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 okay so in that way you should be able to uh, identify 
a polygon now uh, let's uh, try to draw an example polygon example polygon i start with here this way this way this way Okay, this is a polygon. Now this is a polygon. Okay, so uh, if you check the first condition, okay, so uh, we may start from somewhere. Now, if you uh, check the first condition, let's say this is our V naught. Okay, then uh, we can move either. um anti anti clockwise so clockwise clockwise okay so a polygon polygon can be we can traverse uh, its vertices either anti clockwise so clockwise uh, let's say in this situation we have here v1 then v2 v3 v4 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, 27, 28, uh, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 40 okay 40 Okay, uh, we have labeled uh, okay the points. Now V naught zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight. Uh, 29 30 31 32 
Uh, okay, so in this way we have uh, labeled the vertices. Now, how many vertices are uh, the the points? Okay, we have labeled. Uh, there are 51, 51 points. No, there are 51 points. Uh, now, this is a polygon. So let's uh, look at this. The points we are we I are called the vertices. Now this is a polygon. Now this point is a vertex. Vertex of the polygon. And these are vertices. This one, this one, this one, this one, and likewise vertices. The plural plural of vertex uh, vertices and the straight line segment E I R called its edges now this is an edge okay edge so now now you know if you consider polygon polygon has a polygon has vertices and edges then uh, note that a polygon of n vertices has n edges now uh, there are 51 uh, vertices no 51 vertices now you will have 51 uh, edges as well um, now let's check whether this one uh, i have called this as a polygon because now uh, if you look at the definition uh, this one follows the definition uh, now you have a set of points in the plane and index arithmetic is modulo n modulo n means modulo 51 that means 50 plus 1 now here 49 49 plus 1 50 50 plus 1 51 actually 51 equals to 0 because our it is modulo modulo 51 okay modulo 51 modulo 51 now let's see let's see uh, whether it follows the condition one uh, before that uh, before that uh, now it says now we have n points in the plane the index arithmetic is modulo n in implying a cyclic ordering of the points then let e naught means now this edge now this is an edge we call it e naught this one is e1 this one is e2 and so on uh, and uh, finally yes this is e50 now Uh, straight line segments connecting the points then these straight line segments bound a polygon if and only if uh, let's say whether this follows the condition one uh, the intersection of each pair of straight line segments adjacent in the cyclic ordering is the single point shared between them now we have check uh, this one adjacent with if you consider this one and this one they are adjacent they are adjacent they are neighbors okay they are adjacent and they share only a single point between them this one and this one they are adjacent they share only a single point 
this one and this one they are adjacent they share only one particular point okay likewise if you check all the polygon even this one they share this one and this one they share a single point therefore condition one is true and then uh, let's check the condition to non-adjacent straight line segments do not intersect so if you consider this one with this this one and this one are adjacent okay to this edge to this edge this edge is adjacent this edge is adjacent all the other edges are not adjacent and they should not intersect with this in this for this edge it it intersects only with its adjacent edges okay with other edges it does not intersect likewise we have to move to this edge and check whether it does not intersect uh, with the um, non adjacent edges this one and this one it intersects but with other other edges it does not um, intersect okay likewise we have to check each of this edge uh, whether it does not intersect uh, edges other than adjacent ones okay so uh, if you look at this you can understand it follows uh, the second condition as well therefore we can call this a polygon we can call this a polygon okay uh, now uh, now uh, let's uh, look at the definition again so what do you think uh, if we have something like this uh, uh, let's say this is our coordinate system uh, x and y okay coordinate system let's say uh, here we have 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 and here 1 comma 1 then uh, here we have 1 2 3 4 5 here also we have 1 2 3 now let's say 4 comma 4 comma 2 somewhere here no we have 4 comma 2 somewhere here 4 comma 2 uh, then here we have 3 comma 3 Okay, now this is uh, let's say we begin here, this one and this one. Uh, then uh, let's say this is our V naught. Okay, V naught. This is our V one. This is our V two. Okay. Now, this is a polygon, no? It follows uh, condition uh, 1 and condition 2, both of the conditions uh, it follows. Therefore, this is a polygon. 
Uh, now my question is, if it is something, yes, uh, if it is something like this. Now for this one we have vertices, this one. Then uh, 4 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. Now this is a polygon. Now let's uh, change it like this. Now we have 1 comma 1, 4 comma 2. Again we have 4 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. That means now here V naught. Here we have V1. And here we have, yes, let's say something like this. Here we have V1, 4 comma 2, V2 also here, we have, it is 4 comma 2, then this is our V3, okay. Uh, now, this one, This one, is this a polygon? It's a polygon. Okay. Is this a polygon? Now. Uh, we have to check. Uh, now, they are in the cyclic ordering. And uh, now, if you consider edges, uh, this one is E0. Now here this one is our V0, this one is our V2, V3, V, oh sorry, Now joining V1 and V, V0 and V1, we have E0, okay, E0, here V1 and V2, we have, here we have E1, then V1 and V2 and V3, we have E2, then V3 and V0, we have E Okay, now is a polygon, that is our question. Now if you look at this, the length of E1, the length of E1, length is 0, okay, length is 0, because uh, now we say, a special name. Uh, we give a special name to V1 and V2. V1 and V2, they have same coordinates. 4, 2. They have same coordinates. Therefore, we call them coincident. Coincident points. V1 and V2 are coincident points. Because they have same coordinates. Now, is this a polygon? Now, uh, uh, if you look at this part, we have uh, four points. Index arithmetic, it is okay. Now, there are four points. That means three plus one is four. Four equals to zero. We have the cyclic order in. Uh, then, uh, in this way, we can be straight line segments and uh, this one is also a straight line segment where length is zero length is zero it is a straight line segment uh, these straight line segments bound a polygon if and only if if you look at the first condition if you look at the first condition it says 
the intersection of each pair of straight line segments adjacent in the cyclic ordering is the single point uh, shared between them. So if you consider this one and uh, yes, if you consider now V naught V uh, yes, if you consider now E naught and E one, okay. If you consider E naught and E1, their intersection, if you consider their intersection, now here we have a single point. This straight line segment, this is a single point, okay. For a single point also, we can say a straight line segment with zero length. And uh, this one and this one intersects, they have one point in common okay so that condition is true similarly if you consider e1 and e2 as well in that situation also this one is just a single point therefore they intersect a single they share a single point in bit, uh, between them now uh, here if you consider e2 and e3 single point e3 and e0 single point Therefore, condition 1 is satisfied. Now, let's uh, look at the condition 2. Non-adjacent uh, straight line segments uh, do not intersect. So, if you consider E0, uh, if you consider E0, Okay, if you consider E naught, what happens? To E naught, E1 is adjacent. Okay, E1 is adjacent. In the cyclic ordering to the E naught, E1 is adjacent. But if you consider E2, this is adjacent, but E2 is not adjacent. E2 is not adjacent. Okay. E0 and E2, but they intersect. They share. They intersect. If you consider E0 and E2, E0 and E2, they intersect, okay? Therefore, condition 2 is not satisfied. Therefore, this is not a polygon, okay? Therefore, this is not a polygon. So, uh, if you look at the definition of a polygon, Uh, in the polygon, we cannot have adjacent coincident points. Okay, we cannot have adjacent coincide vertex vertices. Adjacent vertices cannot coincide. Okay. Adjacent vertices cannot coincide. Okay, so uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, now I hope uh, it's clear to you. Uh, e naught and E one they are adjacent. Intersection of them is okay, but E naught and E two are not adjacent in the cyclic ordering, but uh, they intersect, okay, they intersect, therefore, the condition 2 is not satisfied and this is not a polygon.
this is not a polygon okay so Uh, now, now uh, another problem. Now you have uh, something like this. Then Is this a polygon? Is a polygon. If you consider this one, so uh, if you consider the condition one, this one and this one they share single point this one and this one they share single point this one and this one 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 single point so condition one is satisfied but if you look at condition two uh, to this one now uh, to this one now you have to uh, actually you have to look at how i have drawn it I start from here V0, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay, now uh, if you consider this one, this one and this one are not adjacent but they intersect therefore second condition is not satisfied therefore this is not a polygon okay this is not a polygon uh, that means uh, for a polygon Uh, if you consider vertices if you consider any uh, and if you consider a polygon two adjacent vertices cannot cons coincide okay Two adjacent vertices cannot coincide and also uh, non-adjacent vertices can they coincide uh, this vertex and this vertex this one vertex is here again another vertex is here they coincide when they coincide second condition cannot be satisfied okay therefore uh, can you say if it is a polygon vertices can't coincide you have to think vertices can't coincide is this true okay that is the question for you uh, where this is can't coincide if it is something like this uh, let's say we start from here then here then here
hier, hier, hier. Okay, so then uh, second condition will not be uh, satisfied. Okay, uh, now uh, the other thing uh, I want to discuss. Now we were discussing about coincident points. Now let's say we have V1, V0, V1, V2, V0, V3. In this way, So here now we have this one E naught, E1, E2, E3. We have edges and now uh, first condition, if you look at first condition, it's true. Now these three points, they are, if we connect these three points you can connect these three points using a, a straight line okay In that case we say collinear collinear uh, these uh, three vertices are collinear that means these three vertices we can connect them using a, a straight line okay uh, can there exist collinear vertices? Adjacent collinear vertices in a polygon. These three are adjacent. Okay. So, first condition, if you look at the first condition, uh, if you consider two adjacent line segments, they share a single point between them. And, okay, likewise, if you look at the second condition, uh, they uh, share... Uh, if you look at the second condition, non-adjacent, non-adjacent straight line segments do not intersect. If you consider non-adjacent ones, they do not intersect. If you check this, you can understand. So, this is also satisfied. Therefore, this is a polygon. This is a polygon. Okay. So, Collinear points can exist, but coincident points cannot exist. Okay, you have to think about that uh, and you have to draw uh, example polygons and try to understand this whether there can exist uh, coincident points uh, in uh, polygons. Okay. Okay. Then uh, now I think uh, you have got a clear understanding uh, about uh, polygons. Now, why in computer graphics? Why I have given an introduction to polygons? The reason is now in uh, lesson 1 and lesson 2, in lesson 1 and uh, lesson 2, uh, you have learned line drawing, line drawing algorithms uh, and now you know uh, from the hardware level, a computer can light up a pixel can what 
a computer can only do is to light up a pixel once we have provided the coordinates okay that's the only thing a computer can do then using that one we discussed uh, di di digital differential analyzer and uh, Bresenham uh, line drawing algorithms there uh, once we have specified two uh, points then using the algorithm we could draw a straight line segment joining those two points uh, now we have discussed about polygons and uh, once we have given vertices coordinates coordinates of the vertices are given then uh, we can draw by uh, we can use a loop and draw each line segment and finally we can draw the polygon okay now uh, using the set pixel we have drawn line segments okay line segments then using the line segments now you can draw polygons okay that is how we have constructed uh, computer graphics and for computer graphics why polygons are important that is the question now uh, why uh, in computer graphics course why have why have i uh, introduced uh, polygons that was the question we have okay that was the question we have so uh, if you consider any figure for an example i draw my hand okay now uh, in the com on the computer screen let's say we want to draw this okay on the computer screen we want to draw this now we can approximate this using a polygon okay we can approximate this uh, using a polygon and uh, using set of line segments uh, we can approximate this and that is the purpose of uh, using uh, discussing polygons in the computer graphics course okay uh, so uh, that is the uh, end of this lesson and thank you for listening.